another visit with Skip D. Lowe and his guests. Today we have the distinct pleasure of bringing you the most famous street in the USA. I refer to a person, not a place. And if you haven't already surmised it, I allude to the character of Della Street and to the very gracious Barbara Hale, who portrayed Mary Mason's faithful secretary. It is with equal pleasure that we introduce you yet to another longtime favorite. He courted Deanna Durbin, married one of the four daughters, and was a comrade to Willie and Joe up front. Nostalgia buffs should readily recognize him as Jeffrey Lynn. And now, buffed up and ready to shine, here's your man of the half hour, Skip E. Lowe. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Looking at Hollywood today. We have a dynamite of a show. I want you to sit back and relax because I want you to meet one of Hollywood's great ladies of the silver screen oh, and on. television. She is just Perry Mason's own private secretary, Miss Barbara Hale. How are you, darling? Thank you, Skip. How You're good? so kind to me. Nine years, tell nine, me. Nine and a half. Nine and a half? Absolutely. Perry Mason's been on television nine and a half years. Then. <laughs> <laughs> and the since reason, then, <laughs> yeah, and the, the showing all over the world. That's right. That's right. God, you must be a very rich lady. Oh, no, hardly so. Yeah. but a very happy, happy you, lady. You are. You yeah. very. You seem very happy. Yeah. You have three lovely children. That I do. That we do. Uh huh. And of course, we have four beautiful grandbabies uh -huh. now. That's that's the most important thing in the whole world. If you girls and boys <laughs> haven't had grandbabies, ooh. <laughs> It's heaven. Tell me something. <laughs> they're, they're doing, bringing back Perry Mason on TV. Yes, can you believe that? Isn't that Tell simple? me about that. What is that all about, Robert? Well, all I it's know... It's a two-hour movie? It will be a two-hour movie. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, uh, Raymond and I will be working together again. I'm I understand he's going to, to I understand him. he's going to defend you. Is that correct? Well, Did I, I give it away? No. <laughs> I don't know oh, for you don't, sure. It, I really don't know. Oh, you don't know? Uh -uh. I heard. Not That's not what I heard. I heard. Oh, you it. did? Yeah, I heard. Oh, it's and I've got to talk to you later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell me something. Raymond Burr, i got to ask you about Raymond Burr. He lives he up north, doesn't he? Yes, he does. How about his weight? Up and down, what's happening with the weight? Well, I'll tell you, Raymond loves food. He's a gourmet chef. Is he? Oh, mm -hmm. divine, mm -hmm. divine food. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, he's, he's just beautiful. I don't care if he's up or down. Uh -huh. Such a fine, fine performer. You've enjoyed working on that show, haven't you? Oh, it was wonderful, wonderful. Really? We'll miss the the boys, the other boys, uh, Paul Dre. They're not going to be out. Yeah, they yeah, can't right. be. They're, They're gone. Yeah, yeah. Paul Dre, Bill Tallman, uh -huh. Ray Collins, God love them. And they're, they're all gone. gone. Yeah, all right. So tell me something about Raymond Burr. I got to know. They say he's difficult to work with. Is that's not true? Difficult. I, I, they say he's difficult, but that's not true, is it, Barbara? He is not. He's a pussycat. They, I really. He think. is Peck's bad boy. He Let is. me tell you, he looks so. Why is that word out? So then? serious and so stern. Uh -huh. Don't be around when he's pulling a gag. Uh -huh. This man is Peck's bad boy. Oh, I <laughs> he's see. Just, he pulls he more things gags done than right. everybody. Well, he's a perfectionist. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I I admire him for that. You know, I've uh, I've worked with Raymond, Raymond and Bill, my husband Bill Williams. Williams, right? Uh huh. And I worked together at RKO many years ago. Bill Williams, you first came out here in 1943 mm -hmm. from Ch Rockford, Illinois. No, no, Chicago. no. I from Chicago. Yeah. I first I was in uh, I went from Rockford. That's home. our home. Our hometown, hometown, right? I must tell really? you. Really? Uh, uh, <laughs> it was a hundred thousand, uh, about a hundred thousand then. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm Rockford. afraid to drive there now. It's ninety it's miles ninety. south of Chicago. Right. Yeah. So anyway, uh, uh, I. I was going to say, Bill and uh, Ray and I, uh -huh. with many others, worked at RKO when we first started. But you first came out here, and you were country. you were a model in Chicago. That's when they first discovered Barbara Hale. Well, yes, I was. And uh -huh. Very you were in a movie so. with Frank Sinatra, the first oh, one of your first I movies. Oh, I And do you know how? I must tell you a secret. I know a secret. In Rockford, in our hometown. Right. I, uh, we didn't do this very often, you know, but I cut school one day uh -huh. with a bunch of other kids uh -huh. because we wanted to go see that in those times there were the vaudeville you know mm -hmm. at Coronado theater at the Coronado or the, theater or the at the Coronado the Coronado right. and you sit in the balcony yeah. remember yeah. remember yeah. of course oh yes and guess who was on Frank, Frank Sinatra, Sinatra. <laughs> right it was his first performance uh -huh. 
and even then the kids uh, and swooned. Rockford we was all it? swooned in Rockford it was yes first? and I was in high school uh -huh, uh -huh. and uh, what was it three four years later you were doing the movie yes, I was out here. higher Isn't and higher amazing and you were the first lady ever kissed him on film I know I know Frank Sinatra uh, you the first oh, ever kissed he, was, he was just that yeah, was a great movie. You played doll. a debutante in that film, weren't you? Weren't you a debutante in that film? Oh yes, oh yes, terribly uh, lady, lady. Uh, was that an RKO film? Uh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it was. Jack Haley was Jack in that. Haley, Mel Torme, my buddy, uh -huh. and uh, let's see. Oh, good heavens! There were so many people Marcy in there. Uh, Marcy, oh Lord, yes, Marcy. Hi, uh -huh. <laughs> Marcy McGuire. Tell me about Sinatra. You remember? I mean, you were very young then. Do you, you, st you still see him? Do you ever? See him? I uh, you not a great deal. No. We run into each other every now and then. What kind of man was he, uh, Robert? I mean, you were a first motion picture with Frank Sinatra, and it was kind of exciting for you, wasn't it? He's he's just a he was just wonderful. Was to he? Me. Uh -huh. Absolutely, just a doll. See, that's they groom people what else like can I you say? in Hollywood. You know, he was, he was so kind. We all worked very hard. Uh -huh. And, of course, I was in awe because I hadn't done that much at that time. Well, they groom you. See, they came out here. In you, those days, days they, they, they groom you. Today, yes. they don't groom people. They really don't. They, the young people don't have the opportunity that we had. You know, uh -huh. I used to say it was a, truly a paid education uh -huh. to work out here. I see. You were under contract with RKO in Columbia? Right. And then how did you meet Bill Williams? How did that all happen? You did a movie with Bill Williams? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well uh, let's see. That was... You did a movie with him. Yeah, uh, I sure did. Uh -huh. uh, one of the first things... In fact, it was... That was before Higher and... No, that was after, after Higher. Higher and Higher. It was with Robert Mitchum, mm -hmm. and it was called uh, West of the Pecos. Mm, a Western. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, I had met Bill in the coffee shop, and I thought, mm, <laughs> very nice. Anyway, uh, the director knew that I had a little shine to him, so he said, I think we'll bring that other young actor up here from home mm -hmm. by the name of Bill Williams. And I thought, wow. And he died in the first act. But yeah. he stayed on, and uh -huh. we became very close friends. You work with some great big stars. I mean, really big stars like... Robert Ken uh, Kennedy, I mean Arthur Kennedy. Well, let's start back with Robert Ooh. Mitchum, who yeah. is just Robin Mitchum. Robert Mitchum, Mitchum. wonderful. Oh, yes. Robert, how about Robert Ryan? Robert Ryan, my beloved. Yes. Yeah, what kind of man was he? What was he? What, honey? What kind of a gentleman was Robert uh, Ryan? Seems like a real man's man. He was, uh, but he also had so much heart, and uh, he kind of took me under wing like little sister. Uh -huh. And he and his wife were very, very kind to me. In fact. Uh, Bob is the one that started me with a, uh, working with Vladimir Sokolov uh -huh. many years back, uh -huh. and uh, I was supposed to do a play with Bob, and then the studio put me in something else. You know, when you're a contractee, uh -huh. you do what you're told to do. Right? Did you do plays before uh, you arrived Hollywood, uh, Robert? No. Never did? No. <laughs> just automatically you were the star in the film all of a sudden. It was, it was, like, it was just uh, a, a very lovely blessing. Uh -huh. That's all I can say because, and I do say that because the business has been so nice to me. The folks, all of the folks mm -hmm. that I've met, it's, uh, it's doing work and learning and, and meeting and uh -huh. being exposed to things uh -huh. never in another life uh -huh. or uh, job could I have been exposed to the yes. times, people, and places. That I the Josephs sing again. What year was that in, Barbara? That was in '45, was it? Or let's no, it wasn't. see. Uh, Josephs sing again. Let's see. That was a great movie. Oh, it was. Lovely. That was great. Yeah, it was wonderful. Yeah, and Larry was so fine. I heard oh, you. I watched him work hours on end. You got the raves of that movie, though. Oh. What raves you got in that film? I did what they told me to. Did they? That was <laughs> that was Columbia. Yeah. Yeah. You did a lot of films. How many films did you do at Columbia? You know, it's, uh, uh, I, excuse me for interjecting. Yeah, that's right, uh, uh Al Jolson's yes. uh, anniversary uh, is just in and around this oh, it time. Is, uh -huh. now, I should say. Did you ever meet Al Jolson? I certainly did. You did? What yeah. kind of a man was he? Darling? Great. Was great. He? Went to New York with him, Skippy, and uh, to do some uh, promos and stay uh, for the vaudeville. Uh -huh. This man wore out three, <laughs> what they're called as leg men, the fellows that go with you, you uh -huh. know, and yes, set, right. set right. up. We did um, <clears throat> five to seven shows a day. Uh -huh. 
uh, in those days you'd come on between the pictures, you know? uh -huh. and he wore everybody out. I was exhausted, uh -huh. but he was beautiful and sang his, oh, he'd sing his little heart out, uh -huh. always. Did you ever do summer theater uh, after you no. went to film? Never? Uh, no. How come, Robert Hill? I mean, you loved the theater. You scared of the theater? <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. But you have a ch you have a, a right. young man, William Cat, who oh, is. Oh, he loves. He, he loves the theater. Oh, he's he doing real it. well right now, isn't he? Yes. He, he had is. a series on. What was that called? Greatest American Hero. Right. How long was that on? That was. Uh, that was on. Well, it's still seasons. replaying. What right is now? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He's doing very well, and he did a picture for Disney called Baby. He's doing something now. And he's it? doing a picture right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, and of he, course, he has a, a great production that he just completed. Uh -huh. A new baby boy was just born. Oh, <laughs> first? <laughs> no, second. Second? Second little boy. Oh, I see. It's beautiful, beautiful. So he lives boy. near you in the valley? Doesn't Not too far. Uh -huh. Not too far. Do you know, I'd like you to meet right now one of... Ho he, this gentleman's been around Hollywood a long time. Mm -hmm. I'd say he's been around here since 1937 or 36. And he is one of my favorite Where actors. Is he? Great actor. You're gonna love him. Jeffrey Lynn. James Cagney. Well, Ryan Allen. Hello. Jeffrey Lynn. How are you doing? Jeffrey, how are you? Good to see you. James Cagney. Good to see you. Remember all those great movies well, of James Cagney? One of my favorite Cagney? people was uh, Jimmy. Jimmy, tell yeah. me about uh, James. Let's go right into it. I'd like to know. What kind of well, guy was he? First of all, I, d I did two with Jimmy. One was uh, Roaring Twenties. Right. It was on. And the Just other recent. one was uh, Fighting 69th. Mm -hmm. In Roaring Twenties, I remember one scene in particular. Where they were lighting for a two-shot of me and Bogart. Right. And uh, I was standing there waiting for the scene to start. Uh -huh. Cagney pulled me over. He said, uh -huh. take care of yourself in this one, kid. <laughs> Bogey isn't going to give it to you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. And that right? Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Tell me about Priscilla Lane. God, you know, you know all the Lane sisters? Well, yeah, oh, yeah. You did? Well, Priscilla, of course. Well, they were all in, in the series. Mm -hmm. Four daughters, right. four right. wives, right. four right. mothers. Uh -huh. uh, I, went, I went along for the ride. Mm -hmm. But now, Priscilla, in right. retrospect, Priscilla, uh, they were all great. They were singers, but weren't they? Yeah. They were, that's how they were. They were singers. Yes. Yes. Fred Waring. Yeah. Beautiful. Right. Priscilla had a magic that's hard to duplicate. Uh -huh. you know, she really carried those pictures, in my view. Uh -huh. I used to think I did. Uh -huh. you know? <laughs> <laughs> or Garfield. Uh -huh. <laughs> but when I see them, I realize it was Priscilla. Uh -huh. And when I was in the service uh -huh. uh, way back, Priscilla was the one they all wanted to know about. All the GIs. Yeah. Hey, Jeff. Right, right, right. What about Priscilla? <laughs> what do you have for Priscilla? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it was really beautiful. She, she is living uh, back east now, is she? So I understand. You still uh, keep in contact with her at all, Jeffrey? No, I, I've but lost. Jeff, you lost for a good many. Years. Why do people like you, performers, stars like you? You just you well, don't. Why we go off to separate jobs? Separate jobs. Separate. That's right. Is that what it is? Well, Absolutely. I haven't seen Barbers since. I know uh, Newport. <laughs> <laughs> Just about. <laughs> yeah, practically. Well, I Actually, only once since 47. Really? You haven't seen oh, each other God. since 47? That's a long time. Yeah. <gasps> My good. That's 30 some years. We were only four. God, you're yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Lynn, tell me something about Humphrey Bogart. I mean, what kind of guy was he? And Johnny Garfield and all those great. Oh, there were actors. Well, of course, I knew them when <laughs> they really weren't superstars yet. They weren't? No. Uh, in in thirty eight. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. Bogey was on the threshold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's and true. Garfield had just hit in sure. the picture I was in. But what was that? What was uh, that? Four daughters. Four daughters. Mm -hmm. John Garfield yep, was in right. that. Uh, there was no question about him. And Bogey. Actually, I I don't think it's to his detriment for me to say that I turned down a picture not knowing Bogey was going to be in it. <laughs> but. Uh, they found me in Palm Springs, hiding out, because <laughs> I didn't like the script, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. particularly the last line, uh -huh, uh -huh. where they haul this guy off to jail, but he he talks to the leading lady who was, uh, I forget who it was, uh -huh. and he says, I'll be back, honey, uh -huh. and leaves me with egg in my face for oh. the final scene of the picture. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. 
You were at Warner <laughs> Brothers for a long time, weren't you? Uh, when you first came yeah. out here, you were a, a Well, journalist. you wanted to know about Bogey. Yeah, right, go ahead. Uh, well, I was right. He played that part, and I played the, uh, the part they wanted me for. Right, right. And at the end of that film, as only Bogey can do, mm -hmm. he turned to Ann Sheridan. Ah, Coke. that's it, yes. Oh, said, I'll great. be seeing you, honey. Uh-huh. You know, uh -huh. it, was, it was just like that, if you need me, just whistle. In reverse, the right. other film. Uh -huh. And uh, I think my, hill, my uh, career started downhill from that moment. <laughs> <laughs> Did Jack Warner bring you out to Hollywood, um, Jeffrey? No. Because you came out here when you, you were a teaching back east, weren't you? dramatic coach or something? No. You weren't a... Well, I did teach school for a year. Yeah. That's what I mean, yeah. High school. Before you... Oh, you but it wasn't drama. It wasn't? No. Okay. <laughs> I went to New York and fooled around with uh, touring companies for a couple uh -huh. of years and uh, eventually wound up here with, in a touring company of Brother Rat uh -huh. and tested at Metro uh -huh. and believe it or not, I went to Metro and talked to the policeman at the gate. I said, I, I want to see the casting director. <laughs> <laughs> and he looked at me like I was nuts. But I got up to see him, Billy Grady. Oh, you're Billy Grady. kidding. And oh, Billy Lord. Grady signed me up for tests. He did. Oh, uh, is that? I signed the contract within uh -huh. five minutes of getting inside the yes. gate. Uh -huh. But they didn't pick up the option, of the, so Warner picked it up. I see. Elizabeth Taylor, you did a movie with her. Butterfield 8, was it? Yeah, you but I, I never saw her. I've never met. You never met Miss Taylor? No. You weren't in Butterfield Eight. Yeah, yeah, I was in Butterfield you Eight, were. but that's I was Lawrence Harvey's friend. That's right. But you never met her. On the set, I friend, that reminds me of what Jack Warner said when Ronald Reagan announced to run for governor. Uh -huh. Bad casting. <laughs> <laughs> he says Jimmy Stewart for governor, Ronald Reagan for best friend. Uh -huh. <laughs> He actually yeah. did say that. Uh -huh. Jack Warner, That's yeah. Funny. What kind of guy was he? He had a good sense of humor, didn't he? Oh, yeah. 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 He did. You know, when I think of all those moguls of those days, uh -huh. Jack Warner was a put in charge of the artistic end of Warner Brothers. He had some brilliant brothers who ran the business end. Uh -huh. And uh, all, all the well-known moguls that you remember today uh -huh. came from nowhere to build an empire uh -huh. with ideas. Mm -hmm. And they did a great job of it, in my opinion. Yeah. They made, they presented America the way Americans wanted Want to, to see it. see it. For one thing at that yeah, time. Right. But time has changed today. Uh, not that much. Not that life doesn't change. I think we've changed too much. We've changed. In our media mean? treatments, yeah. We don't, the, the trouble with Hollywood today. We cater to crybabies today. Mm-hmm in my opinion. What do you think the trouble with Hollywood today is? I mean... What? The trouble with Hollywood today. The scripts, do you think that... Is that the, mater the material? Is that what's happening with Hollywood? The young kids are taking over the business. Teenagers. I mean, who's going to go uh, see well, teenagers? Person, it always was a personality business first, don't yes. you think? Right. right. Mm -hmm. but Otherwise, we wouldn't be here, right? <laughs> <laughs> but teenagers are taking over the film industry. I mean, 14, 15, 16-year-old. Who's going to see well, Sit Through Breakfast Club? I mean, watching a bunch of teenagers in a... Well, they're school. catering to the ones who buy the tickets. That's what I'm asking of you. Yeah. What do you think about that? What do you I don't see that they have much choice. If we won't buy tickets, mm -hmm. if we wait for the $1 a night admission... <laughs> 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 what do you think? There's a, there's a theater out in the valley that charges $1 on Tuesday nights. Uh -huh. Oh, a lot of people take advantage of that. Absolutely, and I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Jean Turney, Jeffrey. You worked with her in a film. What was that film? It was a great movie. I just can't think Jean of it. Jean Turney. Jean Turney. You did a movie with her. I knew her, but, but no, you, I didn't. You didn't do a film with her? Ah. No. No, I thought she did. No, I did not. But I remember when she first showed up in you this town, she so was about 15 or 16 years beautiful. old, and she was so beautiful. gorgeous. Beautiful. Yes, she, she was, was gorgeous, gorgeous, yeah. Child. Gordon Hollingshead was her uncle. Uh -huh. He was in charge of uh, documentaries at Warner Brothers. Uh -huh. but I, I thought you did a movie with Jean Turney. Jean Thank Crane. You. Jimmy Crane. Letter to and Three Wives. Oh, that's right. Exactly. I think that's who I'm thinking, thinking, thinking of. Exactly. Yeah. That's who I'm yeah. thinking of. That was I would a great have loved movie. to work with, with Linda Jean Darnell. Turner. Oh, dear. That, that's right. That's right. Linda Darnell. Yeah. A great movie. That was a great Beautiful movie. Beautiful script. Yeah, that was it. They don't write scripts like that today. See, that's what I'm well, trying to tell you. You know, they everything's been don't. written. 
don't you think when t v came along i thought how are they ever going to feed this monster and it's turned turning out to be quite a chore and it absolutely but i do feel that even in redoing though they change the scripts you know them and but i i think if they did more of the bringing back the all screens the old scripts everything now everything now excuse me right of course an automobile chase yes exactly that's what it is or a or a a people chase or a chase 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 yes well i can back to the keystones they've gone back too far yeah i can see the chase coming up now so i i leave the room Oh, it's it's to me that's sad. I realize that they need suspense and what have you, but you can do that very beautifully with with people and thoughts that are going on that are suspenseful. Right, I think. You think Hollywood's changed, Barbara? You've been out here a long time. Oh, tremendously, tremendously. Like I I don't feel that there's a a a good stage for the youngsters. A lot of people complain about the big studios being too in control and tre treating the uh, young actors and actresses like sheep and leading them and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. setting certain paces. But I think that they need that. They also gave them exposure that young people can't get unless mm -hmm. they get work now. True. Don't you agree with me? In other words... It was easier before. Easier. Much easier. Breaking yes. in. Yeah. Much Breaking easier. in because... There's too many. There There's was too many. Do you know the Academy players, I have to put, they have to enlarge that book. For pictures, there are so many people trying to be in the business. Yeah. They all want to be actors. Well, you can't blame them. Uh, we we tried. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. But you know, y your question about scripts. Uh -huh. I don't think anybody, producer or writer or anybody, deliberately does something bad. Uh -huh. Everybody wants to do something good. Uh -huh. But True. how many ideas are there? You, you know, you get lost in the maze after a but while. who's running really Hollywood today? You know, I think ex-agents are running Hollywood. Don't you think the ex-agents took over the business? I mean, what do they really... What do you think? I don't know. What do you think? What well, do you I can think of one ex-agent uh, who, who was in the headlines a couple of years ago. He, I forget his name. They're running... They're, they're becoming <laughs> the head, head of the studios today. All the ex-agents. They are doing it. But you know. I... Uh, well, to me, it's more of a business now. Excuse me. It is. Yeah. Uh, 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 moneyed people and. It always was, except it, it didn't it, show. It didn't show like it does today, yeah, though. There's yeah, no glamour, though. Gains, it's losses, no more glamour to it. it. You know, like in Rockford, Illinois, a low town in Rockford, they were anxious to see a movie star. You know? Oh, I've, I've got an yeah. idea for a series, new series. Good. Rockford flies. <laughs> Rockford flies. <laughs> Cute. I like that, Jeffrey. <laughs> You have seven adopted children, is that it? Tell us about yeah. that. Stepchildren. Stepchildren. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Two of my own first. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. So I, I thought you adopted a, seven children. Makes a total of nine. You have nine children. Goodness. Goodness. Uh, God. Well. That's wonderful. And somehow they got they got growed up <laughs> uh, without killing me. <laughs> uh huh. And everything's fine. You know, that's they beautiful. think of me. They remember me. They call me. You know, I'm sitting here looking at you two. She did a movie with Frank Sinatra's first movie. She, her first movie was with Frank Sinatra, and your last movie was with Frank Sinatra. It was uh, uh, Ro Tony Roman. Next to my Roma. last, yeah, yeah, that's right. Tony Roman, is that correct? Yeah. Yes, isn't that strange? And what year that's was nice that? And we both worked with, uh, with Frank Sinatra, Jimmy Cagney, about, what, and James Cagney. You both worked with James yeah, Cagney. I did Lion in the Street. Lion in the Street was just oh, on a picture, to me. Yeah. Great mm -hmm. movie. Great oh, movie. It's just great on. story. Yeah. yeah, that was a great movie. Well, well, the one with Frank Sinatra was came sort of unprepared. I got a call. I was living in New York, and I got a call from my agent saying they need you tonight down in in Florida uh -huh. because the guy who was going to play the part uh -huh. was lost in Hollywood somewhere. Oh dear! He didn't show. <laughs> oh dear! So I went down. A limousine met me at the plane. Uh -huh. They threw a, put a script in my hand. Uh -huh. And I got there, and they put this white suit on me that was five sizes too big. Uh -huh. <laughs> With the safety pins down the back. It fit the other actor. <laughs> and within an hour, I was saying dialogue in uh -huh. that film oh, at night. Golly. You know, oh, uh, having left New York about four hours before. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So <laughs> don't expect too much. If you ever see that film, don't expect too much. <laughs> You've done theater in New York. Um, yeah, quite yes. a bit. You have. 
Have Mostly you done... touring, though, out touring? of New York. Touring, yes, yes. Oh, huh. Like uh, Two for the Seesaw. Right. I was going to say, have you done, have you done the dinner theater? There? No. No, he has not, yeah, Jeffrey. Then. No, he's done, you've done touring theater. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. Yeah, I've done bus tours. Bus tours, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, like uh, Critics' Choice uh -huh. and Any Wednesday. Do you like the theater? Uh, I love it. You I, do? The stage, yeah. I think I prefer. You do? Yeah, I think I'm better. I had heard Hatfield on last week, and Heard said the same thing. He Did he? Loved, yeah, he's in from Ireland. Well, I, he's a I good actor. It. Marvelous. I he came here to promote King David, uh -huh. and he said the same thing. He said he loves the theater. I don't like he doing things it. in small pieces. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, that is so, difficult. Yeah, that is yeah. difficult. I like but to you're work a spokesman. On I God, for years you've been ten years for a spokesman for a, a TV. What was that show you for did? a man? On, for a man. She never got me to buy one. <laughs> oh, shame <laughs> on you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now for the radar range. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> But Robert, you brought it doesn't some say a man. It's a man. not a radar. You range. brought some beautiful <laughs> photographs. I'm oh, going yes. to show before we close the show. These are lovely children. hands at home. These are your Where? lovely children. Yes. Look at that. Certainly are. Just point out, brother. Show it. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, Go ahead. Well, there's Bill. Uh huh. That's our yeah. son and his wife Debbie oh. and their baby Clayton. How cute. And then there's the mama and the papa uh -huh. up there. That's my big Billy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then there's. Nita, our youngest uh -huh. daughter, her husband Kelly, and, and Alika, and and Kai, uh -huh. and this is Jody, our eldest Wonderful. daughter, is a speech therapist. These three beautiful. They're the three, I and we have they. one more that should go right, right there, there now. This is Alika, <laughs> yeah. Clayton, and Kai. How lovely, lovely children. <laughs> Aren't they funny? Yes. And they all live in the valley. No, no? Uh, Alika lives. Uh, Alika and Kai live in uh, Maui. Uh huh. And. Uh, do you do a lot of traveling, Robert? Yeah, Not very. You stay home. No. You're a house. You seem very happy. I am. <laughs> See, Della Street's always been down to earth lady. That's what Della was, wasn't she? Well, a down to earth I woman. Think so. Barbara what, Hale hasn't changed in 30 years. She hasn't. Oh, no, you're no. She no. looks wonderful. No, she no, really I mean, does. I mean, and I really appreciate you appearing on my show today because you're dear to my so heart much. because I'm from Rockford and yeah. you know and I really I we'll have to go. You're back. a great lady. Thank really you. a great lady. Thank you, Skip. Jeffrey thank you, Lynn, Skippy. I think you're just wonderful. Thank you very, Enjoy very much. Coming. Okay? Thank you for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Skippy Lowe. We've really been looking at Hollywood today. Thank you. <laughs>